As we start to get more files, let's talk about where to store them. So I'm looking inside where all my NetBeans projects are for this class. I have them all labeled nicely. So I'm gonna go into lab four binary trees because we had a lot of files in here. Now you don't typically browse the files inside of a NetBeans project, but we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go into source and I did have two packages. I'm gonna go not into the complete, but in the regular package and you'll see all the Java files right here. Uh, it's not exactly what I wanna show you. I wanna show you where else you can put files. You really shouldn't be putting extra files in the uh, source unless you're gonna actually be reading or writing them. Uh, this is the directory that if you read or write a file, this is the default directory it will look in. Uh, what I want to do is add some more files. So there's a note, a uh, PowerPoint lecture that goes with this. Now it's in a downloads folder with tons of stuff, but later on I'm going to only really want to use it on lab for binary trees lab. So I'm going to drag this PowerPoint into the project folder, not the source, but again, the project folder. And so this way is just right next to where all the files are that I'm going to need and I can open it up and when I close it, I know exactly where to find it in the future. I don't have to sort through my downloads, which as you can tell is a little bit crazy. So this is how I'm going to organize my lab.